So it is now the month of June, and in this month, a lot of big things happen in gaming, like the Summer Games Fest, GamesCon, and a lot of companies having their presentations, including Sonic Team. This month, we can expect a lot of things from Sonic Team, like the next update for Frontiers, Sonic Origins Plus, but what else can we expect in the future? Well, a few days ago, one of the bigger leakers in the Sonic community, Zippo, posted a big blog post on everything that Sega is cooking for the year and what's going forward. Now, me personally, I have a mixed relationship with Zippo. I kind of believe some stuff that he says and I kind of don't believe. It's very mixed because he's right about some things and he's wrong about some things. But I can't really blame him that much because he's not really leaking stuff. He's just relaying what people are telling him. So things could change. This is why I always say with leaks, always take things with a grain of salt. Things could, are always subject to change. So going into this leak and going into this video, please take everything with a grain of salt because anything could change at any moment. So I'm not even gonna waste your time, guys. We'll just get right into it. But here we go. We are in Sonic. Okay, yo, don't clip that, guys. This is... <laughs> This is what happens when you make a video without a script. You say shit like this. Okay. Naturally, it's the longest part of the document. So he starts off by saying that we are getting Mario and Sonic at the Paris Olympics. Now, he did talk about this before, but it looks like, as of recently, there's some job openings that are leading to the fact that this is coming at soon. I don't know when. But soon, so maybe around, you know, obviously the Paris 2024 Olympics. Um, but I, I, my person, I remember I used to play the London one a lot, but I haven't played it in a lot, a bunch. I'm probably not going to cop this one. I'll cover it maybe like once, but that's it. Next up, we have the new Sonic Hard Light game. So for those who don't know, Hard Light is the company that basically makes all the mobile games like Sonic Dash, Sonic Forces Speed Battle, all that stuff. So apparently they're making a high budget Sonic mobile game and they did announce it like a few like a while back but it looks like they're starting to develop a bit more and it looks like what Zippo is saying is they're gonna you know announce it sometime soon. Now we've talked about this before Sonic 5. This is a big one because he talked about it before and it looks like a lot of a lot of more evidence is coming out so basically confirming that no question that it's coming out. Some details saying that it's going to be a return to the Sonic Advance and Rush series. And it's it's still from him, it says that it's still being called Sonic 5. So I don't know if that's a placeholder, because they've been using that placeholder name for a long time. But the same thing happened with Frontiers. It, we, you, we, before we even called it Frontiers, it was Sonic Rangers, right? And they didn't change it up until a few, like, before they even showed the like first gameplay trailer. So we'll see what happens. Another thing that's confirmed is that Amy will be in the party. She will be part of the squad in this game. So that's confirmed. Four playable characters. Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Amy. That's a really good roster. Amy has been playable in a mainline game for a while. And not only this, she'll also be playable in the DLC 3 of Sonic Frontiers. So it looks like we're getting... Playable characters are making a comeback as a whole in the series. Which I am all for. It has been too long since we had this. That seems like everything that's going to be here for the Sonic 5 news. I hope there is more playable characters and stuff like that. I really do. But we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. And then obviously he talks about the Sonic Frontiers DLC, which they'll probably be talking about soon, and all that stuff. And then he also says that there is a Sonic Central that should be coming out by the by now and the end of June. So that has a time like a month. We have a month time frame. And I want to say middle June, maybe earlier, er, early June to middle June. I don't think they're gonna wait till the end of the month because that'll be. Already we have Sonic uh, Sonic um, Origins Plus and the new update coming out. I don't know why they would wait so long to to make a Sonic Central then when everything's already out. So I have a feeling that's going to be sometime at the beginning or in the middle of the month when everything's about to release. And I waited to the end to say this for the big reveal. But Zippo also says there are six Sonic projects in development. And from what we can deduct from this article... It seems like it consists of the Olympic game, Hardlight, Sonic 5, the Sonic Frontiers DLC packs, and a, the new mainline Sonic game, which is going to be the sequel to Sonic Frontiers. But what's the sixth one? Because there's only five mentioned here. 
what my, what I could think of is it's either the Sonic movie or Sonic the Knuckles show, but I'm not 100% sure. Zippo doesn't really go into super, like, doesn't even mention a, a, uh, a sixth project. The only reason we have five right now is because I did, I from deductive reasoning, I could be like, oh, that's the, the next uh, game after Frontiers. But what's the sixth one? That's what's, that's what's got me, like, thinking, man. That's what's got me excited. And you know what? <coughs> Fuck it. I'm feeling extra generous. I'll just throw in the rest of the blog post for y'all who actually care. Uh, woo! So, he starts off the blog post by saying it's the month of June, and we're about to arrive with a lot of Sega stuff. So, he starts off with the Jet Set Radio and Persona 3 remake. Basically, the two things that we saw in the trailer that leaked like a few months ago with uh, the beta version of Sonic Frontiers. So, he talks about those things, and he also talks about Samba de Amigo Party Central. You know, we have that new game coming out that came out. He also talks about that Yakuza spinoff where it's like in the past with, um, I forgot his name, I, I'll remember. So that basically covers up the entire blog post. So, from what I can see, we have one, two, three, four, and if I'm correct, we have the, if I'm correct, we have the Paris games, Hard Light game, Sonic 5, the Sonic DLC for Frontiers, which is already four projects, and including the new Sonic game, the new, like, big mainline Sonic game, basically the sequel to Frontiers, that is five projects that Sonic Team is working on. Five, which is crazy. Some of them, you know, are big, big scale than others, but that's still, that's five projects that Sonic Team is working on. We are eating really good, fellas. We have, I don't think we've been eating this good in a long time. Like, we haven't this, had this much content, maybe since, like, the early 2000s. And my overall thoughts on it is I'm kind of I'm really excited. Obviously, I'm excited for the Sonic Central. Um, we have we usually have those every year in the summertime, so I'm gonna be very excited. I can't wait to watch see what's happening there. Hopefully, they announce Sonic Five or something like that. Um, they're gonna be announcing a bunch of merch. I know for sure. Um, the last Sonic Central, to be honest, was kind of lackluster because we you know we already had Sonic Frontiers coming out. Um, I think we did get the trailer for Sonic, um, Origins there, but you know, we knew that was coming out, so that wasn't really that big of a surprise. So with this one, they have the chance to show Sonic 5, they have the chance to show their new mobile game, the pair, I don't think the Paris game is going to come out anytime soon, that's in 2024 probably when this, that Olympics happens. Um, maybe they'll show something for the Knuckles show, that would be really cool, because we do know that that's starting filming, so... And we haven't heard much about it recently, so I really hope that they do show something like this. And once again, take this with a grain of salt, because, listen, it's leaks, okay? A lot of things can happen, and we can't, for example, the Sonic, I don't think I, don't think I have to remind you about the Sonic uh, Adventure remix. Apparently, it was going back and forth saying, okay, these exist, and then it was, oh wait, these don't exist, and now, again, they do exist, but they were cancelled. So... Things can change. I think what well, I think big locks Sonic 5 is a lock. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure uh, The hard light game is 100% a lock because they confirmed they're making a, a game uh, The Paris game it's been on and off. I'm not sure if this is a lock um, And everything else seems like pretty confirmed um, Yeah, and I guess all we have to do is wait until that Sonic Central to see what we get um, Yeah, and I guess that's basically everything my final thoughts on these is Sega, I hope uh, Sonic Team, I hope you don't fuck up. I hope this. I think if we if this new Sonic game, because this was Sonic 5 is their next big, like quote unquote mainline Sonic game. If this is good, I think the series will be in a really, really good spot. Because you can say what you want about Frontiers, you can say it's mid, I don't give a fuck. The game did well, it sold well. So, with that, and if this game is a success, even like maybe a million copies, because I know it's not going to sell as much as Sonic Frontiers, it's going to be like a 2D game. If it's maybe a million copies or 2 million copies, that's going to be good. The game, if the game is just good, I'll be happy, because we haven't had a Rush style game in years, man. I miss that type of style. I I just hope it's good, because I know Retro, uh, the Sonic main team isn't working yet. I know it's in-house at Sega or Sonic team. I just hope it's good. I know I'm rambling a lot. But, yeah. Also, just quickly, that hard light game. I'm, I, I've kind of been, like, 
not skeptical. I just don't know what it's gonna be. Cause Hardlight, I know you know they're they're auto runners, right? So I don't know what their big budget Sonic game is. Maybe it's an RPG. Maybe it's like a like a traditional Sonic game on phone, like a th traditional 3D Sonic game on your phone. That would be really cool. I don't even care if it's open world. I don't really want it to be. I just want it to be a traditional 3D Sonic game on mobile. That would be pretty cool. But that is all I have to say for now. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, comment down below what you guys think of this news. Also, this is going to be my last video for this week. So <clears throat> you get your weekly... <laughs> this is going to be a weird, a weird mouthful. You get your weekly, weekly preview. So I try, I'm trying to add this new thing. I think you saw if you saw watch the last video or last week's video, you would have seen it. Um, basically, next week, what my plans are... I'm going to be releasing two pretty big videos. Um, I hope you guys watch those. I'm going to get um, Street Fighter 6. I'm definitely making a video. You guys seem like you're fine with me making a video on it. Um, so I'm going to make a video on it. And bro, I'm 100. <sighs> this game is a cop already, bro. This. Oh, bro. Bro, whatever. I'm, I'm really excited for this game. I'm going to buy it. And I'm going to play a bit. I'm going to make a video on it. Probably not this next week. But probably uh, the week after next week. Um... Then I'm not sure, um, but there's gonna be two pretty, pretty big videos that I'm gonna make tomorrow. Um, I think you guys are gonna really like the discussion on those videos. Um, but yeah. Also, I'm making a Discord for you guys. Uh, I'm currently working on it. It should be ready soon. Uh, I'll let you guys know. But that's that's basically everything I needed to say. Once again, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, comment, and until next time, I'll see you. Bye-bye!